And I felt like the Lord wanted somebody today to get your passion back. And he tells you how to do it. He doesn't just challenge that you've lost your passion. I mean, I don't know your reaction to the scripture, but I take it as parental guidance that God is warning me. If you lose your passion, you're going to lose your place. Can I break that down? If you don't love that woman now that you're married to her the same way and in increasing ways that you did when you dated her, somebody else might. Now, that's not a threat. That's just reality. If I don't want to preach with passion, you think God can't raise up another preacher who's smarter than me? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't operate out of the assumption that I'm entitled to anything that God gave me. I got to keep my passion. How can you have so much passion before you have the position? How do you get it back? He, he said, you've, you've abandoned it. You didn't, you didn't lose your passion. You left it. You didn't lose it. You left it. You abandoned your first love. You stopped doing the things. Look at it. He said, you've abandoned your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen. I love God because he doesn't say that we should regret where we are. He says we should remember where we were and get your eyes back to the hills where your help comes. Come on, I'm preaching with passion, but I could use a little participation. I'm not staying where I am. I want my passion back. Somebody shout, I want it back. I want it back. I want it back. I don't just want to look like a Christian. I want a fire in my heart. I want to go through the motions. Here's what you do. Remember from where you have fallen. Remember from where you have fallen. Repent. Let's look at the scripture together. Repent. And let's read the next part together. And feel the feelings you felt at first. Well, is isn't that how we treat passion? Like it's a sensation? But yet when he challenges their passion, he calls them to action. Yes, sir. That's really good. Do the things you did at first. It's a decision. Not a sensation. So now let me tell you something else. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. How do I get it back? Okay, I'm gonna pray. Lord, I want my passion back. It ain't coming. Not like that. You don't pray to get it back. You practice. Yes, sir. Do the things you did at first. I don't feel grateful anymore. Be grateful. I don't feel excited anymore. Be excited. I don't feel love anymore. Be loving. Do it. Do it. Do it. What's it? What you did at first. Do it. Practice. Can I show you something? You got a second? Is this word good? I sure enjoyed preparing it. I think I like cooking this better than you could ever like eating it. While I was preparing it, watch this, Blakeney. The Lord uh, gave me an illustration of it. Uh, you guys may not know the names of these musicians. I mentioned them already on the platform. Uh, one of our musicians here, LJ, he's a little newer to the team, but he's got passion. And he's not some young buck who always wanted to be on the stage. He's done some things. He's uh, He's wasted some, some seasons, and uh, I didn't know about him. I was looking for somebody in this particular position, and uh, I wanted somebody who would have not just the technical skills or proficiency to be back here, 
but someone who would have the passion for it. You know how I knew uh, he was the guy? He said that when I send in my scriptures for them to put on the screen, he begs the people that get the email with the scriptures if he can see them so he can figure out what I'm going to preach on so he can start thinking through what song he might start playing when I start closing. See, that's passion. That's passion. And I brought him up because I, I love all of our team. Don't, don't get me wrong, you're not my favorite or anything like that. But just uh, something I heard that when he was, he was living in Canada, and, uh, which is known for its passion. <laughs> and uh, I love you, Wayne Finch, Stephen Finch. God bless you guys. But he, he, was, uh, he was going through a season. I'm not going to tell all of his details. Maybe, maybe uh, you can ask him one day. But he would sit when his wife would go to bed at night, he would put on his headphones and he would practice playing with preachers online. Now, he didn't have a position, but he had a what? A what? A passion. And he would put his headphones on so as not to disturb his wife's sleep, I assume. And uh, I'm sure she appreciated that. And he would play along with the preaching. I heard that there was a season where you would play along with me online. And I didn't know who he was. Never heard of him. Never heard, never even heard his name. They didn't even call David's name when he was out in the field tending sheep. Come on, I'm about to preach right section up. I sure could use your passion. I sure could use it. And see, he didn't have a position. But when you have a passion, you practice. You don't wait for a position. You don't do it because somebody's watching. You don't do it because it's a performance. You do it because it's a passion. And he didn't know he was just killing lions. He didn't know he was just killing bears. But when Goliath came stepping forward to the battle line, he had been practicing. And now he's back there, and I'm up here because he had a passion. Passion will bring you from the pasture to the palace. Pastor will bring you from the lowest to the highest. Repent. Get your passion back. Come on, take 15 seconds and praise him passionately. Passion, passion, passionate. Come on, Rock Hill. Come on, Lake Norman. Come on, you see. Get your passion back. God's not dead. He's not done with you. Get your passion. Back in place. David said, Oh, yeah, I've been practicing for this. I've been waiting for an opportunity. I've been waiting for a giant. See, I can preach any way I want to preach. I've been practicing. You got to practice your passion. Practice. I was riding home with Elijah just on Friday, and we were filling up the little gas cans with gas to put gas in the four wheeler. Very spiritual activity. And we filled them up and put them in Holly Suburban. And I said, Elijah, we got to put them just right, because if the gas slushes around the back of the car, your mom isn't going to be happy about our outing. And he said, Dad, I'm worried, because all the way here, they were sliding around in the back. But I said, Don't worry, boy. They might have been sliding on the way, but they were empty. Now that they're full, they're not going anywhere. I started preaching to Elijah while I'm driving. I'm practicing. Preaching is not just my profession, it's my passion. If you got passion, you ought to preach in the car. You ought to preach in the kitchen. You ought to worship God Monday, Tuesday. It's my passion. 
my passion. I practice my passion. I practice my passion. Practice, 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 practice. Find seven people, tell them practice, 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 practice. You never know. You never know what God might want to do through you. You gotta practice. You gotta practice. Well, I would pray, but I just don't feel anything when I pray. You hadn't practiced enough. If you would pray two minutes, you would see the peace that two minutes brings. And tomorrow you want to pray five. If you practice, if you'd open your Bible and read a verse, you'd want to read two. You might read four. You might read eight. You might finish the book of Galatians before the week is over. If you would practice, practice. I'm practicing. So if you ever see me in the grocery store and I'm mumbling, I'm not crazy. I'm practicing. I'm practicing. I'm practicing. I'm practicing. What are you doing throwing that stick on the ground, Moses? I'm practicing. Because I got to use this stick to part the waters. But until I practice, I can't perform it. And you've lost your passion. Because you stopped practicing. Hey, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single video or live stream. And share this video with a friend. And don't forget, you can join me live every Sunday. Thanks again for watching.